This is from CNN. Uh, these scenes, uh, okay, uh, let's see. Dead puppies and kittens in crates reveal the dark side of China's mystery box craze. All right. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but uh, these mystery boxes, right? I saw one that um, Mr. Beast did on on uh, YouTube. He ordered the, the, the largest mystery box or some, some shit like this. I don't know. But this is going on here. So uh, in the video, the, the sound of scared animals is deafening. Uh, as a flashlight rolls over towers of boxes in the back of a delivery truck, tufts of fur can be glimpsed through tiny air holes. These are the luckier animals. Other boxes appear completely taped up. Animal rights group Love Home filmed this raid on May 3rd in the central Chinese city of Chengdao, which... Uh, during which it uncovered 156 boxes of months-old puppies and kittens, some of whom were dead. The images scandalized Chinese social media users who were horrified the animals had become victims of a shopping craze sweeping China called mystery boxes. Uh, it works something like this. Consumers buy a small box with an unknown present inside, normally a collectible figurine. Ding Ying, a professor, associate professor of marketing at Beijing's Renmin University of China, told state-run newspaper People's Daily the boxes were addictive, especially when the prizes were part of a collectible series. Quote, consumers have an inherent need for closure, thus they tend to want to own the whole series once they get one, she said. That has turned the boxes into big business. In December, mystery box maker Pop Mart, uh, just like it sounds, Pop Mart, whose boxes often contain cute plastic figurines, raised $676 million in its initial public offering. This month, uh, that state-run China, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> blah, blah, I'm tongue-tied. Uh, that month, the state-run China Daily newspaper said the mystery box industry could be worth 30 billion, billion yuan, or $4.7 billion by 2024, citing an industry report. But there's a darker side of the trend. Well, delivery of live animals by mail is illegal in China. It is poorly policed, according to state-run media. Some mystery box operators are exploiting that blind spot to offer surprise pets delivered to consumers' doors for as little as 32 yuan or 5 U.S. dollars. So that's what's happening here. Um, they're mailing kittens and puppies as part of these mystery boxes. And clearly, if you're mailing living things, it's not good for these living things to not be dead when they arrive. Uh, you know, if you don't believe me, strap yourself up and put a postage stamp on and put yourself in the mail. Uh, I'm pretty sure you won't last uh, the first leg of the journey. Uh, and I don't, and I only mean that, uh, you know, tongue in cheek. Don't actually do that, of course. But uh, yeah, right. Like what the hell is going on here? This is a little bit sick. And so this is, uh, this is the world we live in, right? This is the world we live in where, you know, there's, like we always say, there's there's human rights, there's animal rights, and then here's the animal rights stuff, and then people don't even give a shit about that. It's just uh, dead puppies and dead kittens uh, in these boxes, and because, of course, the almighty dollar, right? Dollars are greater than cents, and uh, there you go. That's what we get. My grandfather always used to say, uh, because these people have more dollars than cents, and of course, he didn't mean C-E-N-T-S, he meant S-E-N-S-E, -S -E, more dollars than cents. Clever play on words. He probably didn't make it up, but I thought it was fantastic.